Okay, now let's do some exercises. The first one is you are required to complete the following table. You are being given the information about the sales, total variable cost, uh, contribution and CS ratio. Some figures are missing. So you are required to fill up the table. Okay. Uh, the second item, the second question is what is that XY Limited makes only one product which sells at 35 ringgit per unit. So for the uh, year just ended, 64,000 units were produced and sold and the following information is available. You have the total fixed cost of 560,000. You are being given the information about the CS ratio that is the uh, contribution to sales ratio of 40%. Uh, then you are required to calculate the net profit for the year just ended. And part B, you are required to determine the break-even point in units and value. So I would prefer if you just do these exercises first before uh, you listen to the explanation for the uh, answers. To complete the table, let's look at number one. So that means you are being given the sales figure of 70,000. Next, the total variable cost is 35,000. So you need to work out how much is the contribution. So we know sales minus total variable cost gives you your contribution. And you are being given that the CS ratio is also 50%. You can also work out from there. So that will be 35,000. 50% of your 70, that is 35,000. Or you can work out as 70 minus 35. That is your sales minus your total variable cost gives you your contribution. Okay, the second one, you are required to work this out. So you are being given the sales and the total variable cost. You can work it out as 150 minus 105. You can also get this figure. Alternatively, you are being given that the CS ratio is 30%. So you can, you can work out 30% of your sales. Okay, that is also 35. Uh, sorry, 30% uh, 30, 30 of your 150,000. That is 45,000 ringgit. So for the next one, you are being uh, given a total sales of 100,000 ringgit. And then you are being given the information about the contribution that is 25,000 ringgit. So of course, you can work out the total variable cost. So that total variable cost will be the difference between your sales and your contribution that is 75,000. And you can also work out your CS ratio that is your uh, contribution 25 divided by your 100,000 sales okay 25 over uh, 100 so you will get 25 percent so, and then in this case you are being given the information about the total variable cost you are also being given the information about your contribution so you know total uh, sales will be the combination of these two okay the total variable cost and contribution so you add all this uh, two, two uh, figures together gives you 18,750 and you can also work out the CS ratio, the contribution divided by your sales. So 3,750 divided by your 18,750. So that gives you your CS ratio. Okay, that finish off your first exercise. You look at your second exercise. You have your XY Limited makes only one product which sells at 35 ringgit per unit. So the selling price is 35. And then you are being given the information that for the year just ended, 64,000 units were produced and sold. So that is the current production and sale. You are also being given the information about the total fixed cost. So the total fixed cost is 560,000 ringgit. And the CS ratio is 40%. So you need to work out the net profit for the year just ended. So from the information, you are being given the information about the sales or the selling price per unit as 35. And you are being given the information about the fixed cost and the CS ratio. So as mentioned earlier, CS is calculated as contribution over your sales. So your CS ratio is 40%. So what's the remaining? So what's the remaining here? So the remaining here will be, uh, if your sales is 100%, your contribution is 40%, that means your sales, uh, sorry, your variable cost is 40, uh, 60%. So 60% of your 35 ringgit, so your selling price is 35, so 60% of 35 gives you 21. 
So that means now your contribution, uh, your variable cost, sorry, your variable cost is 21. So you can work out your contribution. Okay. So 35 minus 21 gives you 14. So 14 is your contribution. Uh, uh, that is, th this one is per unit. This one is your total. Okay, if you want to work out how much is the net profit. Okay, how much is the net profit? This one is selling price per unit. This one is variable cost per unit. This one is the contribution per unit. Okay, you want to work out the net profit. Currently, you are working or you are operating at 64,000 units. So that is your uh, current level of activity. 64,000 units. You are producing... 64,000 units. You are producing and selling 64,000 units. So, you want to work out your um, profit. So, your profit will be uh, selling price per unit times 64,000. 35 times 64 gives you 2.24 million. Next, minus your variable cost. That is 21 minus 64. So, that gives you 1344,000 uh, or 1.344 million. That gives you a contribution of 896,000. Next, you less your fixed cost given in the question 560,000. So you can work out your profit as 336,000, 336,000 ringgit. That is your profit. So that finish off the first part, that is part A. Part B, you are required to determine the break even point. So you need to determine the break even point in units and value. So first, you can okay. You can use either methods. You can use the um, you can use the uh, equation, or you can use the uh, contribution techniques or the formula. So let's look at the first method that we have learned before. That means you look you use the uh, form uh, you use the uh, start the you use the equation technique. That means your total sales minus total variable cost minus total fixed cost gives you your net profit or selling price per unit times the unit sold minus the variable cost per unit times your unit sold minus your total fixed cost gives you your net profit. So at break even point, we assume that the net profit, uh, no, at break even point, the net profit is zero. So the net profit is zero and you need to work out the unit sold. Okay, the unit sold is not known. So same as before, you just plug in the figures into the formula. So you know that the selling price is 35 ringgit per unit. So 35x minus your 21x minus your fixed cost, your total fixed cost 560,000 gives you a profit of zero. So you work this out. So 35 minus 21 gives you 14x minus 560. Bring that to the right hand side. Gives you a positive 560 divided by your 14. So that works out as your break even point of 40,000 units. If you want to work that, uh, work that out in value. So you times with the selling price per unit times with your 35 ringgit per unit. So that will give you 1.4 million break even point in value. What does it mean? So the company has to sell 40,000 units in order to break even. Okay, how many units that currently the company is producing? 64,000. So that means anything below 40,000 gives you a loss. So any sales below 40,000 units will result in a loss. So now the company is operating at a profit because it works. Uh, it is working above the 40,000 units. Currently it is at the uh, 64,000 just now. Okay. Um, so that is the first method. You can alternatively use the second methods. Okay, the second methods you are using the contribution method. So in this case, if you are using the contribution uh, method, you just take the break even point in units. It's calculated as your fixed cost divided by your contribution per unit. So fixed cost divided by your contribution per unit. Just now we have seen your contribution is. Uh, 14 that is 35 minus 12 so your total fixed cost is 560 minus 35 minus 21 this is your contribution you work out your contribution as 14 ringgit per unit so that will gives you uh, so that will gives you uh, same figure as before that is 40,000 units uh, if you want to work that out in value so that will be your uh, fixed cost divided by your CS ratio so your CS ratio just now, so that is your uh, 0 0.4 given in the question. 
So 560 divided by 0 0.4 gives you 1.4 million. So you will arrive at the same answer, either methods that you use. Okay, so with that, I thank you.